Hey guys, Potato here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a surprisingly simple world eater. As you can see behind me, there are two TNT duper machines which go to one side and will go to the other. I'm not going to show that right now because it is pretty laggy. But it is a pretty simple design also brought to you by Kale Hamron whose channel link I will leave in the description below. It's a pretty cool video and a pretty cool machine he came up with so go check him out after you watch this video. Just a quick little word with you guys before we start. Happy holidays to you all. Merry Christmas, Happy Annika, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope you had an awesome holiday break. And as I'm recording this, it's December 30th, right before New Year's Eve. So I hope 2023 will be a great year for you guys. And if 2022 was not a good year for you, I'm so sorry. I hope things truly do get better for you in 2023. And I just want to say, again, I'm super grateful for you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for all the support in the past year, and I hope 2023 things will get even better than they are now. And yeah, without further ado, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, let's get into the video. These are all the materials that you're going to need to make one TNT duper, and this is for one return station. These dirt blocks are just for temporary placements and whatnot. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need for one module. So ideally, before you start building this, you're going to want to find a nice flat area of planes is ideal because, well, it's flat. And you want to clear out ponds, any bodies of water, and obstacles like this tree over here because the TNT could fall on it and the whole machine will blow up if it's too close to the, uh, the TNT. And once that's done and you're choosing your biome, you're done choosing your biome, you're going to want to take the highest point. So I will build probably from here to about there. So this is the highest point. You're going to want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks up in the air. I'll do 11 just to be safe. And this is where you're going to start building. All right, so to begin, place down your TNT over here with a cobblestone wall on top of it. Then make a bit of space with your temporary blocks and place an observer facing into the direction that you want the machine to go. Then get your slime blocks, make an L like so, another L, and place your detector rail on top with the minecart, and then place a dead coral fan right here. Alright, so next up, place your sticky piston here with an upside down L in front of it, with your second sticky piston facing towards that direction, then get your obsidian, observer, your block, and place the repeater here on two ticks, it's important. Then get your redstone dust there with a lever under here, which you will activate. And you gotta crouch down and place your iron trap door, make sure it's up like that. Then finally place an observer here, you might need to build up temporarily. And I'm using an iron trap door just because I don't want to accidentally flip it and I recommend you do the same because uh, this thing will fly over there without stopping if you don't. But other than that you can just break your pillar from before if you haven't already. And that's it for the first part, now we just have to build the return station. Alright, so for the duper to correctly align with the return station, you're going to want to place a bunch of blocks. You could use your coordinates as well, but I think it's easier to just do this. Take your temporary blocks and place them however far you want to go, or you want that thing to go. And I'll stop around here, so break the rest of that. You're going to want to make a corner with, remember, this is the block that's in front of there. And here, place a repeater on two ticks again with two redstone dust. Make a temporary block here with an observer on top and another one with obsidian here and finally place an iron trap door there and your final block there and I'll just break the rest of this and you're pretty much ready to go. Alright so as I mentioned earlier this design is just for one module of a TNT duper going back and forth but now I'll show you guys how to make it expendable for an actual world eater with multiple of these so you can have a larger perimeter when you decide to run them so yeah let's get into that. Alright, so this is a lot simpler than some of you guys might think. All you really have to do is just go five or six blocks to the side of this and, well, build the exact same thing, you know. Just don't mirror it, remember? I mean, you could if you'd like, but it's a lot easier if you just build it, you know, like with these proportions, TNT Observer, TNT Observer and all that. And, of course, build the return station the same way we did before when you're finished. And once I've done that, I'll show you guys how to hook them both up together. Now as you might have guessed, these levers on the bottom of the stone here, when turned off, will send the dupers flying to the other side and the return stations will send them back of course. But if you want to send them at the exact same time, all you have to do is just, well, place blocks, redstone, new lever turned on, other ones off, and now when I turn this on, it might get a bit laggy, just a fair warning, the TNT just falls. 
By the way, this is probably self-explanatory, but if you want to take this down to Deep Slate level or even Bedrock level, you are going to have to rebuild this thing slightly lower each time. Although it could go pretty far as you see here when I tested this before, it goes pretty deep I'll say so. For a while you won't have to move it, but as time goes on you will have to eventually, you know, rebuild this thing down low. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. But until then, Happy New Year. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and I hope things definitely do go your way in 2023. But until then, stay tuned and have a wonderful new year. Goodbye.